Hi everyone. What is the role of a board member when it comes to fundraising and resource development? On the one hand, it's pretty straightforward that with boards who are predominantly comprised of resourced individuals, the nonprofit can often rely on their generosity and influence to get them through times of need. On the other hand, sometimes a board is or a board must take a more active role and work diligently for even the smallest needs. What it means is that there is a range of what a board's influence is when it comes to fundraising. And so this week we explored what it means to have an active board when it comes to this subject. Our text discusses this idea of capacity building for developing resources, that is, how do you ensure that there is a culture of fundraising and that individuals have the tools and skills in order to make this happen? Fundraising itself can take on many forms and while we didn't go into great detail on the types of ways to raise funds, whether it's a gradual approach with donors or a mass appeal type strategy, our question is what does a board have to do with all of this? As a board member of a few nonprofit organizations, my response is that any and every fund and resource question has to involve the board in some capacity. Whether that means having board members contribute directly, at whatever level they can, or leverage their influence in the community to bring about more resources, the key is influence. Effective nonprofit executive directors leverage their board uh, level of community influence just as much and even more than their pocketbooks. When it comes to board involvement, my experience is that board members feel more appreciated when their influence is solicited first rather than a simple appeal of them. The reason for this is simple. It's all about relationships when it comes to fundraising. Boards who feel they are valued not just for any potential resource, but for their wisdom and connections to others first, tend to also reciprocate in giving. Should a board member accompany the executive director in any sort of fundraising appeal? Should they be the one to ask an outside donor? Should they just sit back and be available as needed? Those questions all depend upon the context. I've seen all of these play out and what I've noticed is that board, the board plays such an integral part. So involve the board as much as you can. Most of all, be in communication with the board about the need and desire to fundraise. With fundraising, I've never known a successful executive director without an involved board. Next week, we'll turn our attention to connecting with the community and what a board should do about it when it comes to partnerships with other groups, both non- and for-profit. In essence, we want to discuss the externally facing sides of boards, including their public relations role. Should they be publicly visible or off to the side? Think about that as you wrap up the discussion for this week, and I'll see you all online.